Everyone, today I'm gonna do an example question on vapor pressure lowering for a solution. Okay, so first of all, of course, you have to read the question, see what it's about. So let's start to do that. Okay, so the question itself is telling us we have a ideal solution. Okay, so yes, we have a solution. Okay, and then form with the mixture, and then for the low of uh, vapor pressure lowering, we know there are two situations. One is you have non volatile solute plus a volatile solution uh, solvent okay so that's our case okay so now let's put this down okay so for vapor pressure lowering we have two situations okay one is a is b the other is b okay so for a you have none volatile solute plus volatile solvent okay so which is again as i said that's our situation the other situations you have volatile and plus um volatile solvent okay so um that's two situations and then for our the example question what i'm doing today is non-volatile non-volatile solute plus volatile solvent okay and then if that's the case let's see remember if that's the case well what are we going to use to solve the question uh, equ uh question so that will be rao's law okay so if you remember rao's law what we do okay so let's put that down okay so So then you have the, the the solvent, the pressure of the solvent in the solution. Or equals to the mole fraction of the solvent times the pure vapor pressure of the solvent. Okay, so this is the equation you're gonna apply to it. Okay, so if we know all this, and I think, I think um the question is not bad. Okay, so now let's look at it. Okay, so we know we have the solute, then we have the solvent, and then we're given with we also given with what the pure methanol is our solvent, right? We know the pure um solvent what the uh, vapor pressure is. Okay, and then we also have grams of the solute grams of the solvent and then you're calculating the vapor pressure of this solution okay so eventually you're going to use this equation okay so in order to get to this equation we realize we have to calculate the mole fraction first okay this is given that's given okay and then you need to calculate the mole fraction okay so if that's a that's something we know we're gonna do and then let's uh, start to do that okay so you have 4.4 grams okay that's CO and H22. Okay, so you need to calculate the molar mass based on the periodic table. Okay, so after you calculate the molar mass, that's about 60 grams. Okay, so as I said, depends on the periodic table you're given during the exam, and then you just use it. Okay, in terms of sig figs. Okay, and then in this case, I'll keep two sig figs, so we 0 0.073 moles of this solute. Okay, so that's what happened. Okay, and then we do similar calculation. Now we have uh, 39.9 grams of methanol CH3OH. Okay, calculate the molar mass based on periodic table, which is 32 grams. Okay, and then I've got 1.25 moles of CH3OH. As we already clear, and the question is already um, describe for us that's our solute that's our solvent okay now we need to calculate the mole fraction of the solvent okay so the mole fraction of the solvent in this case is CH3OH okay so then we're gonna use 1.25 mole divided by the total moles which means the moles of the solute plus moles of the solvent Okay, we do this and get 0.94. Okay. So that's the mole fraction, and then the other number is given. Now I think it's pretty easy to finish the calculation now. Okay, so the um pressure uh, the vapor pressure of the solvent 
in this solution, which we're using Rouse law, okay, and then mole fraction, we just calculate, that'll be 0.94 times the solv the pure solvent, okay, and as we said, it's given from the question, will be um, 89, uh, 89 millimeter mercury, okay? So as I said, this is one of the units for pressure that you need to know, okay? So when, after you do this calculation, you get about 84 milliliter mercury, okay? So then you can choose your choice, that would be E as electron, okay? So then again, just say, I didn't ask you, I give you, as you give you millimeter mercury for uh, the uh, the pure solvent of vapor pressure, but what if at the end I'm asking you about ATM? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna convert from millimeter mercury to ATM, the conversion factor. I just really address it one more time. These are the three units you need to know when ATM equals to 760 tor equals to 760 millimeter mercury. Okay, so it's not hard to uh, remember, but make sure you know this. This is not given during the exam. Okay, so um, that's it for today's video. One more time, this video is about uh, the vapor pressure lowering, and then the case will be case A. We have the non-volatile solute plus volatile solvent, and you're calculating the vapor pressure of the solution. And thank you for listening.